Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're just going to be, I don't know, I'm going to take that into town and go grab some parts now. And, uh, I don't know, I'll just get back with you once, uh, I don't know, we're almost ready to do the brakes on uh, my BF. But anyway, I'm going to go to town now and I'll be back with you once I've got all the parts and I'm back home. Yep, here we are. We have, uh, so yeah, the bracket, uh, the brake, um, caliper support is around in the yard. I'll show you that when we get there, just at home at the moment. Um, but uh, there's a new universal joint, uh, the brake pads. Um, yeah. So I'm just waiting on the um, center bearing and then we'll get straight in back to that. But um, I'll be back with you once we, uh, once we have that. So uh, yeah, this will be another day. Honestly, probably be next week at this point, but uh, I'll be back with you once we have everything to start working on the BF. Around the workshop now, um, yeah, just doing the brakes at the moment because the lift is currently occupied by a shitty Ranger. But anyway, so yeah, there's the old brakes. You can see that they're, they're all right. Um, they don't seem too bad. Um, well, there's nothing really wrong with them, but it's just they're starting to vibrate a little and honestly it's cheap enough just to upgrade. Uh, well, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks for them. Rotors are 90 bucks each, and uh, then uh, over here, the caliper support brackets from Australia. So, uh, yeah, these are 138, so uh, you do the math. Um, that's what it costs upgrade obviously if you want to get drilled and slotted like bath 370 bucks well it's probably more than that we'll just say about 400 bucks for those ones i get mind you i get all the shit at dealership like um what the dealerships get it for not like what the retail stuff is um so you'll probably be paying a few hundred more <laughs> so yeah but no get these is see they're really not bad um but they're not great but whatever replace them anyway <laughs> It's just got some Repco pads on it, well, yeah. Looks like it was just Repco erroders and pads that they changed it with. Uh, but whatever, I'm gonna get into it. Again, nothing too special. It's just, um, I could show you a bit better, hold on. Um, uh, all you gotta do is obviously pop the wheel off. They have these um, shields, which I took them off back so you can see the rotor more. I think I'm just gonna leave it off this too. They don't really do shit. And then that bolt, which, 12 12 and then there's like an 18 because they will spin and then uh what yeah uh 15 mil to actually take the caliper sport um bracket off um the these keep these because the ones that normally come in the um the brake pads are not correct unless you cut them so yeah um yeah do that and then you take it all off and then yeah I clean the surface behind the rotor, um, get all the rust there so it sits nice and flush. I'll clean the threads obviously because it's got a bit of rust on it and shit. Just clean up a few things and then I get new grease and I slip these slide pins into the new caliper support and then I put the new rotor on, put that on, bolt that and that holds that up. I usually get a, a lug nut and just um, tighten it all the way up with my hand so this it holds the rotor on. Um, and then put the caliper support bracket on, then put your brake pads in with those, and then put that on. Uh, yeah, you gotta take your, oh, well, that's not open now, but you gotta take your top off your brake master, just to so relieve pressure because you push back the pistons. Um, so yeah, these fit in there nice, but uh, I don't know. I'll just show you once they're done. It's simple as that, really. Um, I, uh, I'd imagine, I'd hope that you should be able to do this at your your, your house and you know all the shit I just um I don't know do, uh, for specs obviously I just get a big pry, like I can dig it with the ear, ear gun and then double check it with the big pry bar these I just get like I don't know something that's like about that long and just make sure it's nice and tight and that's good enough really um I'm not really one for uh, torque speed because fuck that who cares a uh, Gadaga is good enough for me, but uh, anyway, I'll show you once it's done. On is obviously it's a different day. The hoist is free, but yeah, you can see 
and they are broken all in, looking good. I like how they um, they just feel fill the you know I think well not wheel well that's what they call up there. I don't know they fill yeah the, they fill the wheel more you know it's not as big as a gap up there um, and it just looks better in my opinion. Um, but no, so that's done and I won't film it but I got an oil change and then but uh, what I am going to show you I won't show you the process um, but yeah I got center bearing from I think it was oh, I can't see it there but online auto parts or whatever straight from Australia or something um, got this instead of like I think what I could get it for was like 260 or something, or something like that and you would probably be paying about three, maybe 400, I really don't know, what they sell to the public for, but for a center bearing for a BF. I bought this thing for like, I think it was like 70 or 80 bucks from Australia, and uh, gonna fix <laughs> all that fucking play in there. It's been fucked for a while, I know it has been. Same with the exhaust, it's been fucked for a while. The flange is bent, I think, and it's just, I put a new exhaust gasket in it, but it just blew out, so, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I think in the end I might just, if someone wants it, wants to, I'll probably just end up chucking the cat in if um, they want it when I sell it. Uh, but no, nah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna film it, but thought I'd show you the cheapest part to get. Um, well, you tell you where to get it from for the cheapest price. But yeah, just uh, these, I don't know, one of these bolts, I think. What do I do? I can't remember what I did. I think it was these bolts that, yeah, you undo these bolts. So there's three of those bolts. And then all these bolts down there, take them out. And then obviously these ones holding that. Take the drive shaft out. Um, take these clips out. Bang them to each side for the universal joint. And then, yeah. Uh, if you want to watch a more in depth video, you're welcome to Google it. But yeah, I got a brand new universal joint, brand new center bearing, brand new oil and filter. Because uh, it's annoying because the, the Falcons take like six and a half litres. Hopefully the rain's not too loud. It is apparently pissing down. Um, but yes, six litres. I get it from Repco. That's the cheapest place to get it. And then I need to do an oil change on the Sabaro anyway. So I grabbed another one. Filter's over there. But yeah, that is what I am doing. Brakes are good. I've already put like a couple hundred Ks on them already. They feel great. Amazing. All new brakes do. I don't think they're still hot. Yeah, they're still good. Um, they just, you know, it's not that hard. Like, I think I paid about 200 bucks for the rotors ish. And then, yeah, like 50 or 60, the same pads, the ceramic pads, as um, what's on back now. I showed you them. Um, but yeah. You can see they still got a bit of paint to wear off. I always get like the RDA because they paint the rotor. So, it's only the surface that actually gets touched that goes all bare metal. So they don't rust the whole rotor, unlike the, I think it's Repco brakes I don't like. But nah, I'm not gonna film it, but oil change, new center bearing, she's fucked. It doesn't vibrate um, though on the highway. You really don't feel it. Um, that's why I just been too lazy to change it, but uh, I mean, for other, one, other people that haven't seen the exhaust set up, just got a small resonator area there, small muffler here, and nothing up here. But because it is a BF, you have to have this, but there's really no point because it will go send and check engine light because you got no cat and it freaks out. So it kind of needs a tune, which is annoying. Um, but I haven't noticed really any performance loss too much, so I really don't care about it. And at least in I imagine Australia, but at least in New Zealand, you don't have, like, the check engine can be on and thro go through WAF. Um, talking about WAFs, bath, I sent it for a WAF. A few problems with that one. Some of you might have guessed that. But we'll do that another day. Um, you know, spend a grand plus fixing it up so it's safe to drive. Now I'm going to spend another, realistically, i got to spend, like, another three grand just so it's road legal. Oh, shit show. So... If, you, if any of you guys want to buy this one, hit me up. I need this thing fucking gone. <laughs> I love it, but Beth, I love more. So, yeah. anyway, I'm not going to film that, but 
the centre bearing and all that will be done today. Today is Monday the 27th, maybe? I don't know. Something like that. I want to get the shit done and uh, yeah. I'll end the video here anyway, but it will be done um, today. But no, hope you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I don't know, want to see anything again? Let me know. These tyres, after a few skiddies, yeah, well, they're they're on the borderline. Or well, yeah, maybe not. Maybe they won't pass off. Not my problem. Someone buy it, so I don't have to get new tyres for this thing. I'd say they're they're pretty much on the uh, on the mark. So, so that one's still got yeah, that one's still legal, but it's yeah, this tire is still legal. It's more this tire that's just a little bit yeah, it's on it. You don't really feel a hump there. It's like yeah, this one's probably illegal, but uh, not my problem. Someone else buy it, so that's your problem. And uh, well, I mean, if you want to buy it and you want some cheap tires, somewhat cheap tires. Cheaper than what you can get them somewhere else. Um, just let me know if you do want to buy it, and I can get you. Uh, I think the top front tires are good, but um, it definitely needs to be mint after this. Obviously, once I fix all that, after that, the only complaints I would have is just the tires, just the wear. Weirdly, honestly, I'd probably if I was keeping this car, eventually, for a probably its next off, it probably need all brand new tires around, or at least to be mint in my eyes, all brand new tires around and an alignment and this thing is just mint no, no other complaints um but yeah all goods like you said like comment subscribe and i will see you next time when we work on bath maybe i don't know or at least i say what's happening with it and all the problems <laughs> but no all goods i'll see you later